Hi friends, this is Arshana here with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you to a monthly reading for the month of May. This reading is for the Divine Masculines and I have created a special spread and this is going to be my trademark spread that I will do for the Divine Feminine as well as the Divine Masculine every month and it is called the Seven Chakra Spread. And what I'm going to do in this is to look at the collective, the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines look at what are the blockages in each of the chakra for the coming month from root to crown what is it that's blocking each of the chakras because when we're in alignment is when we get all the information we are moving in we're stable we feel good we have the willpower our heart is open we speak our truth we see and we're connected with our inner wisdom and we're connected to the divine energy so the energy is moving in from the earth up, up through our bodies into the spine, all the way up to the top of the head, the crown chakra. And then the energy from the higher realms flows from the crown, flooding the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, the uh, sacral and the root chakra. And our energy centers move up and down. Right? That is in wonderful when we're in complete balance. But that's not what life is. So I'm looking at what are the blockages in each of these chakras, the blockages in each of these chakras, and what is it that we can do to nourish each of these chakras? Let's see what the universe has for us. So for the root, root is our first chakra. Base of the spine, it's about stability, safety, and it is blocked when it's in alignment, you feel safe, you feel secure. When you're not in alignment, you don't feel safe and secure. It's blocked by fear. It's blocked by fear. Keep that word in mind that the blockage for the root chakra is fear. Now, what we got for the divine masculines here is the king of wands and financial constraints. Now, when our root is stable, you're going to feel abundant. You're going to not feel a constraint in your finances. What this is saying to me is, you know, a king is, look, he's wearing all red, just like the red root chakra. There's a lot of fire energy. There's a lot of base energy, but he's sitting on his throne. He's sitting on a throne and that's why a king is is said to be structured right structured and our root chakra is structure and stability so he represents true stability but this is coming as a blockage Okay? When you are empowered, you are empowered, you are visionary, you've got, you have your goals, you follow through, you have a lot of passion energy which you have focused and brought to fruition and that's why you're sitting on this throne. But it's coming as a blockage. It's coming as a blockage for our divine masculine. So what it's saying is that the couple of messages, one is, you know, are you being too aggressive? That's the shadow side of our root chakra. Right? when it's in in balance it is too much aggression you have too much fire energy you're going to be winning at all costs you're not using your heart you're going to say okay i got this goal i'm going to keep following through it's good but when you start following through on your goals at all costs and not looking at how it's affecting and impacting others it's an imbalance it's an imbalance in that chakra okay so one of the one of the things that's coming for me is there's some masculines who are being too competitive. You're using that firepower for the negative by being too domineering, winning at all costs, you know, being arrogant, aggressive, not having restraint. OK, so that is going to block because it's not in alignment. It's not in alignment. It's over. It's an excess. Anything in excess is never good. So now you're going to watch how how. Any of the chakras, when they are imbalanced, how it creates a ripple effect in all the other chakras. And remember, a root and crown. Okay? We say this is the root of the problem, and that's the crowning. That's the crowning energy. So there is there's something to be said. It's like a tree. Visualize a tree. So these are like the roots of the tree. Okay, and that is where your flowers and your plants and everything is going to flourish and grow. 
Okay, keeping that structure in mind, you can understand and see what's going on. So that's that message. So the other blockage for me it becomes is that if it's underactive for some of the divine masculines, because they can be either overactive or underactive. Underactive is there's not enough energy. You are not feeling empowered. You're not feeling like the king that you can achieve things, that you can follow through with your goals and you're kind of dilly-dallying. You're not, you know, you got a goal and then you kind of fizzle out on it because there's not enough energy in it. You do not have enough root energy in it, right? So that's another message that's coming in. Now, when we talk about financial constraints, so, you know, so for some of the masculines, to, to me, this is coming as, um, you know, of course, we're looking straight at the finances or are, are you focusing too much on your past losses or has there been an overindulgence in spending too much money? So not having not having foresight like a king would have a foresight, like, OK, when to spend, when not to spend. So some of the masculines may have been overspending on what they have from what they have and now it's creating a problem so that's like our co codependency and uh, addictions okay so that's creating like a blockage we also have to understand some of them just maybe feeling like oh my gosh I don't have enough money I don't know if I had enough money I would do this I would do that we have to remember that life moves in cycles and that how we view our relationship with money is are we feeling worthy enough? Are we feeling worthy of the life we say we want? And this is a way of the universe testing us. How are you responding to a constriction or how are you responding to an expansion? Because life will move in cycles of expansion and contraction. We know that. We know that. So that's what's going on in the month of May in, in the root chakra. Now, it's interesting because you know I, I do chakra alignment and I do um, chakra balancing for people and uh, I, I give advice in terms of how you can bring that in balance okay so look at the card that came out for how the masculines can nourish the new the the base chakra the the our root chakra and bring it in balance for the month of May the card that came out was appreciation do you see that Okay, appreciation. Gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. I mean, we've heard this, we have said it, but I really want to ask, I mean, how many of us really sit down and are truly grateful every single day? Today I'm sitting out. It's a Saturday. I mean, it's going to be full moon tomorrow. It's a Saturday afternoon. I'm sitting in my backyard. I have these beautiful flowers. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. Are we sitting and looking at what we have? Are we appreciating where we are in our life? Always remember in the laws of the universe that everything is relative. There will be always someone who will be not doing as well as you. And there'll always be someone who will be doing something better than you. It's all relative. Now, the key is what these energies bring us. I mean, we're here in earth school to learn, to manifest, to manifest, but to also understand that there are cycles. How we respond in a cycle of contraction is what our lessons keep coming in again and again, in one story or another, in one event or another. Let's start looking at the small things, every small thing that's there in our life that we're grateful for, no matter how sucky that day seems to be. There's always something to be appreciative for. Learn to be grateful. Learn to be grateful. That's a message that's coming from the universe, but root chakra balancing, uh, a key, generic. I mean, I'll keep giving you tips along the way, Archana's tips. Um, just exactly where I am outside. I'm outside in Mother Earth. I have my feet completely on the grass. I'm completely grounded. So spend time in nature. Spend time in nature. Look at the beauty of the nature. And it's going to fill your root chakra. It will give you the prana. It will give you the chi energy in the root if it's not enough right there. Okay? You're going to start to recognize a lot of things when you start spending time in nature. Okay, my dears, let's move to the second chakra. After the energy of uh, the root, we move into 
sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is all about sensuality, sexuality, your passion, your feeling, all with the element of water, movement, right? So the question I asked is, of course, what's blocking our second chakra? And what is it that the masculines can do to nourish and bring that second chakra in balance? Okay, so we got, can you guys see this? So I don't have to lift it. It's the world card. And I'll talk about the chakras too. And we picked out the third chakra. So we're talking about the sacral. Sacral chakra is blocked by guilt. Remember what I'm saying. It's blocked by guilt. Okay, there's a reason why I'm repeating and I take a pause. I want this to have an effect on anyone who's listening, whether it's the feminines or the masculines. The reason I keep saying that it's blocked by guilt because I want you to start thinking about as I'm doing this reading is what is it that you feel guilty about? What do you feel guilty about? Just generally, what do you feel guilty about? So start letting that run. Start, start letting that, uh, that, that action run in your back of your mind on what I'm talking about. The world. What does the world represent? The world represents completion. You got everything going. You're rejoicing. You're looking outward at the world. You've accomplished this victory. All efforts are being paid off. Look at her. Look at her. She's reached a certain aspect. She's reached a certain place. She's got the victory read and it's got the infinity symbol all red, red. Okay. Remember red, the color of root, right? So looking back and seeing how far you've come with everything that you've done, right? That would be wonderful if we recognize that that's what the world card is, but it's coming as a blockage guilt. What does that mean? When it's coming as a guilt, when it's coming as a blockage to me what this card is speaking of is are you taking shortcuts in life because this person when they have achieved the world is through hard work through learning the lessons through overcoming the obstacles looking at life's challenges and and getting and finally reaching that state finally reaching that state of completion you know you you take a task you bring it to completion right? you bring it to completion now you can sit on the throne now you can enjoy the benefits the achievements of all the hard work you've been preparing for the exam you give the exam and wow yay i got it right the world you're happy right now it's a blockage here's a question are you trying to take shortcuts get your goals you know you got excess power energy let's take this fire okay you know what i want to get this goal done i don't have the time I i'm just gonna you know this is the shorter way to do it so let me do this okay are you taking shortcuts or are you taking the necessary steps to achieve your goals i mean there are steps that have to be taken also remember are you feeling like you know, I'm just tired. It's just I've been working so hard and I just don't see an end. I don't even know if I'm you know, going to get anything. So here's something to remember that you're right there. You're almost there because th this energy is there. It's just not dominant. It's just not dominant. But you so energy flows where intention goes. Remember, we are co-creators. You are a co-creator. So are you feeling disappointed? Are you feeling like a lack, like a lack, right? Go back and give gratitude for what you have. Share with whatever little you have, whatever you have. You always have something to share. Share your time, your resources, money, whatever you can. And it's going to create abundance in your life. It's going to take you away from this feeling of having a constraint. It's going to give you that firepower energy to forge through, to be stable where you are and you can be victorious. Are you giving up? Are you losing hope? Are you giving up on your dreams? Because it's coming with the feeling center which is our sacral chakra of emotions in relationships. Perhaps some masculines are looking for closure. Did some things happen in the past that you are not able to put in a nice little box 
because you didn't get a closure and you're not able to identify why that happened because the logical mind is working and you're looking at why did the events occur the way they did and you're blaming yourself for it you're feeling guilty guilt remember I told you keep that word in mind it's blocked by guilt are you in relationships you have to remember that life is a journey that it was serving a lesson it served as a lesson but you have a choice appreciate what you learned through that obstacle and through that challenge and through that challenge you have learned to grow and you, you, perhaps that's the lesson for you masculines is to grow and learn and release the past release any guilt associated with any past actions that you have taken or someone else took against you it is time to forgive it is time to let go third chakra so um, before I, I get into this I've got to explain this to everybody Whenever there's a blockage in a chakra, I have to look at what's going on with the chakra above or the chakra below. So if there's not enough energy coming in through the roots, so recognize and just think of it, just think of it always like a tree. So if it's not getting enough nutrients, it's not going to be able to grow. The plant is not going to grow into a healthy and a beautiful abundant plant that it's supposed to grow or a tree that it's supposed to grow and bear fruits and bear, bear flowers, right? Now, we're moving in from stability into feelings and emotions and fire and passion and sexuality and sensuality. And then we are moving into the willpower, our own personal power. Now, we drew in as a blockage in our feeling center, in our passion center of a third chakra, which is our next one. So there are two aspects of it. When we get too aggressive from the root, the energy has has forged ahead into our third chakra which is a center for willpower and we are using too much of our will that's exactly what this person's doing right there's a lot of yellow here there's a lot of yellow here right and it's supposed to be all orange in here orange uh so all of this red is got a lot of willpower that's how he's become the king but he's learned to control it there's always a give and take there's always a balance between how much willpower you're going to use for your own stuff and how much willpower are you using and exerting and being aggressive to get your stuff done at all costs so as a blockage what this is saying is that there are two aspects i'm going to go always overactive underactive 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 you do not have enough willpower to look at to look at your life as a journey you're not looking at your life as a journey. You're not releasing the past. You're not releasing. You're trying to seek a closure. You are trying to seek from your logical mind answers. And life is going to teach you that you may not always get a closure. And I'm, t I'm, I'm saying this, my dear masculines, as a feminine. Trust me, this is something that I struggle with all the time. What you see here? This, to me, I feel like that's my masculine energy. That's like a blockage right here because I always seek closure and it's so hard for me when I'm not able to find a closure in something. Are you doing that? Or the other aspect is when it's overactive, you're using too much of your willpower. You're using so much of the willpower that the energy is not going to move into the heart chakra. You're, you're being overbearing, over aggressive. So... There are two aspects. So always there will be two messages, one with an overactive of that chakra or an underactive. That's why it's not in balance. Now, how synchronistic that what's going to help you in the second chakra is a victory card. Victory, similar to our world. Is that not what it is? Isn't that what it is? Remember, victory at all costs is not victory. That's overactive. Underactive chakra for the sacral chakra. Recognize, appreciate, 
appreciate yourself, appreciate your life, appreciate where you are, and know that you're going to be victorious. That's where true victory lies. That's where true victory lies. Right? Your efforts will be paid off when you exercise that willpower and you let go. You control that. Be the king. Be that king of wands who has control using the heart. He has all this passion energy. He's controlled his willpower and achieved where he's at. Let go of feeling constrained. The universe is abundant. Appreciate what you have. And you're going to be able to push and create greater energy in the root chakra, which is going to flood the second chakra. Let's move into our third chakra. Right? Let's move into our third chakra. And for the third chakra, which is a center for willpower, right? And it is blocked by shame. It's blocked by shame. Interesting that we got the Queen of Cups. And I'll talk about the first chakra as the blockages. Cups, emotions. <laughs> do, do you now see a pattern? Do you see a pattern? Because you overused your willpower, or underused it, you're not able to connect to your emotional center, which should have been here your emotional center queen what is queen she's the queen of emotion she's the queen she's very introspective she's very nurturing she's very loving she's very intuitive okay so what i'm getting from here on the on this spread right here for the divine masculine for the month of may for their third chakra and these are all our lower chakras then the energy starts moving upward into the higher higher consciousness but this is needed for grounding and building our energy up this is like the the base very important every chakra is very important so there's no one higher than the other i'm just telling you the placement that they have on and 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 what they serve the functions that they serve so what this is showing to me is that for, for the many of the masculines um they're blocking their guidance they're blocking their inner wisdom right you're not trusting your inner guidance you're being too focused on your logical mind or you are too focused on creating that needing to have more stability you already have the stability, but you're wanting to excessively. So, see, see, this becomes like a codependent behavior in the sense that overindulgence or excessive. Like, oh, I need this. Okay, you need a house or do you need like 20 mansions around? Now, that could be, I need to, I need to, I need to. Remember the difference between needs and wants. Back to economics. Needs and wants, right? Needs are limited. Wants are unlimited. Wants are unlimited. Too much too much attention on the root chakra that you cannot see the full picture okay that's serving as a block that's serving as a block for some for others there's not enough energy in the root chakra therefore it is going to you do not have enough energy here you do not have enough energy in feeling good about things and because you do not have enough willpower so see do you see the pattern now so you do not ha you're not feeling good about things you're not feeling good about emotions you're stuck in guilt energy you're fearful of taking action you're 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 feeling very guilty and now you're feeling very shamed so that's like sh th this is the primary when you get down to the root cause you may say no 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 arch i don't know what you're talking about i'm not ashamed of anything trust me when you start talking to yourself and you start uncovering one pattern at a time you're going to discover your root cause you will you have to be truthful you've got to open your throat chakra you've got to trust and you've got to you've got to open that so what's coming up is that's the there's not enough energy in there so it's limited that's serving as a block so it's not giving you enough willpower on the other hand remember the excess too much too much too much okay so you are blocking your flow of creativity she's creative 
She is introspective and creative. And creative energy begins with our sexuality and sensuality sex. So this is very, very important. I do a lot of sacral chakra clearing. It's very important. Very important. Um, because of the programming that we have in 3D on a lot of guilt on anything um, that makes us feel good. Some of the masculines are out of touch of the emotions because you're living in your head. You're being very in your logical mind. And what that, what's that, what, <laughs> okay, if I stop mumbling, what that is doing, yeah, you got it. What that is doing is, it is making some of you feel very dissatisfied. So some of you, here's a question for you. Actually, it's just I'm thinking about in relationships. So is there something in the past that you're not able to release that you feel guilty about? And now you're not allowing yourself to feel. Maybe you've guarded yourself. You've guarded yourself and you're not allowing the flow of emotions. You're not allowing your inner truth to come. You're not expressing yourself. You're constricting that. Because she is free flowing with emotions. Okay. So, some of the masculines, what I'm also getting is, here's another message, some of the masculines are harboring, are you harboring negativity and anger towards yourself? You know, anger, hate towards yourself? You know, you're feeling angry at yourself or not. You want to do something, you just don't feel like you're able to. So you're becoming very critical of yourself. So, you know, many times we say, oh, self-sabotaging behaviors, because that's one of the things that's coming up for some of the masculines is self-sabotaging behaviors, feelings of unworthiness. Because this is, sex for me, when I do my affirmations for my uh, clients, this is, I'm worthy of the life I say I want. I'm worthy of the life I say I want. So, this is the worthiness section. Okay. What's going to nourish this third chakra? Not being envious. Not being envious. When you're appreciative of all that you have, you're grateful for where you are, and not looking at, oh, that person has a bigger home, that person has a bigger car, that person has a bigger relation. We don't know their lessons. We don't know what steps they have taken, where they are in their journey, where they are in this carnation, in this, in this incarnation. We don't know what their soul lessons are. How are we comparing ourselves with another human being? Why are we comparing ourselves with another human being? We're in completely different classes. We are in completely different lesson plans altogether. Different stages of evolution, different stages, different places, different lessons. We are here to assist one another on Earth School. Appreciate where you are. Control. You don't need to look at someone else and feel lack you have everything within you recognize beauty even in contraction recognize the beauty in perhaps a failed relationship on how much stronger you are today find that strength and let go reprogram the subconscious mind for attracting what you want creating your reality in the now we are co-creators. Let's tap into that power. Find that power. Use that willpower. Use that willpower. Okay. This can even lead to, for some of the masculines, the messages that were coming from me was that probably some of the masculines are in a codependent behaviors, addictions, I don't know, um, alcohol. I, I don't want to list them. Um, yeah, because you're trying to find emotional fulfillment, but that's not the true form for emotional fulfillment. And the rest of the reading is going to reveal that. So moving into our next, the energy now moves from the, uh, from the solar plexus. Where was I? Solar plexus, right? Yeah. 
So solar plexus, and we're moving our, uh, now we're moving up into the heart, okay? So the heart is the connector of the upper chakras and the lower chakras. This is where the transformation and alchemy begins, okay? You need all of this foundation to be strong so that we can nourish what's going to come up. Let's go. So heart chakra. Heart chakra, center for love, center for self-love love for others it is blocked by grief mm -hmm. for some of the masculines that's what we got there's perhaps some past grief or hurt that they're not able to let go of that they're not able to let go of what's blocking them we got the tower and attachment card so what this card speaks to me of is fear of change Fear of the unknown. Some of the, d the divine masculines I know from the previous readings that I've done, and I'm sure you're listening to other readers, um, divine masculines have had epiphanies. Oh, oh, they have. Oh, my dear. You have had epiphanies. And you're going to have more. But are afraid of the change that this will require. The shake-up and the break-up. What it's doing is, and, and I can understand this from the chakra point, and that's why I created this reading specifically. I've been thinking, I've been feeling it, and I said, okay, I finally got that feeling inside to do this reading is tower. Okay, what is it going to do? Just, just think about it. So I'm going to get you guys involved in the reading is um, it's shaking up what? The foundation. So what's going to happen is worried. Oh my God. If this epiphany has occurred. I want to do this. I've got this emotional unfulfillment. And, and I'm completely out of touch with my emotions. And I need to do this. And feel good. And I need to be in the state of gratitude. But it's going to bring in a big change. My foundation. Everything. Life as I know it is changing. Okay. It's forcing this, this energy that's come in is going to force them to seek a new perspective. Challenge them. Your old truths and belief systems, everything. So when you talk about your belief systems and everything that you've had, it's all your foundational energy. Oh boy, we're changing the foundation. Woo! My whole tree is shaken up. Just think of it. Just think of it that. So yes, it's scary. I'm totally with you. It's damn scary to get that feeling and get that energy in. But remember... This is part of the process. This is part of earth school. This is what is going to shift you into a higher vibration and what is to come. It is required because you are not taking that time to do that yourself. So they've either you're going to encounter or some of them have encountered or some of you will encounter this tower moment. You're sitting in indecision for too long. Okay. It's going to make you look at something from a new perspective, okay? Whether it is in terms of, hey, oh, I just got this. This is, this is great. I just, I, I love it when, when messages just come in. I love it. So whether it was a financial constraint, maybe you had a financial loss, okay? Maybe failed, or maybe there was a divorce, or there was a loss of a loved one, or... Um, you know, a big and any any sort of an event that penetrates to the core of your being, right? It shakes up your core of your being, right? And you're not able to make sense of it. Why did it happen? Why did it happen? Why does that person get it? And I don't have it. I've been working so hard and I don't get it. And I've been putting all my energy in. Will I ever be victorious? I don't like it that they have it. How much more work do I have to do? Okay, I'm going to win at all costs. All this confusion and all of that energy that's coming in. Like, okay, divine sad. Okay, you're not going to do stuff. I'm going to help you. Okay, we're going to help you. We're right here to help you along your path. So we get this tower moment, right? So remember that this tower is nothing to be afraid of. You've had too much attachment. Has it been attachment to the grief? Has it been attachment to too much of security? Has it been attachment to too much materialism? Okay, to materialism. It is time to let go of that attachment. Time for change. Five time for change but remember that there is a freedom to be experienced after the storm right and always remember 
that in every moment we are free to choose. It's free will. We're on this earth. We're on this earth. Release the attachment. Release the attachment. And I tell you, the reading was is phenomenal. Uh, the card of just just come up exactly as as it should. The temple path is what is going to nourish. What the temple path see what speaks of is look at no matter how winding the road is look at what you've chosen as your spiritual destiny this is something that you've chosen before you came down on earth it's beautiful it's lit up with all these golden orbs and lights and that's your spiritual destiny so you're meant to go through certain contractions you're meant to overcome these obstacles and know that in your spirit, in your heart, in your life, you have all that it takes. You have all the tools. You're the magician. That's how you came in. You came in as a star seed on this plane, on this 3D plane. And you can manifest using all these elements that are given to you. You have this connection to the divine source. You're just forgetting that because of the density that we are living in. Recognize. And you have a choice. I mean, you don't have to do any of this. You can keep listening to it and saying, oh, you know what? My life sucks. It ain't going to happen. You know what? This person did this to me. I don't even understand why this happened. Uh, all, all, bad things always happen to me. You know, we are running in that old programming. You're not choosing a different reality. You are not in that vibration. You're not in that vibration. Allow for that tower moment. To break that foundation through recognizing, through releasing those attachments, the releasing those attachment to things that are not serving you and allowing you to move along on that path that you have chosen for yourself right here. Release that. It's spiritual evolution. It's all necessary for the soul to grow. It is. So moving our energy, moving our attention to our fifth chakra, throat chakra. Throat chakra. It's about speaking your truth, communication, inner truth. Okay? What is it blocked by? Lies. Okay? So what we got over there was, I remember when I talked about how the energy, so I have to, when I look at the cards, I have to look at what the card is above, below, and around because the uh, because this is affected by this and that because the energy flows from top to bottom and energy goes from bottom to top so if the heart is closed you're not going to be able to speak your truth remember that right because if you're feeling stable you're feeling good you've got the willpower you're going to love and you're going to speak your truth right and you're going to move forward so now what's blocking is um we got the hangman and we got the fourth chakra, which is our heart, which is pretty easy from what we have seen right here, because there is too much attachment to the old, too much at attachment into the material world, not having faith in the divine, and our heart chakra is closed. Our heart chakra is not functioning at optimal, okay? When it's not working at optimal, it is going to block speaking your truth. Maybe you want to speak your truth. You've met your divine counterpart. You know that they're the one for you. But because of your past hurt and past restraints, you're not able to speak that. You're not finding, you're not wanting to release that energy of why that happened. And finding that, finding that strength within yourself right? to speak your truth. Speak what your heart says. Look at things from your heart perspective opening your heart out so some of the divine masculines and the energy that i got from that are feeling like they're sacrificing a lot they're not getting enough i'm i've been doing a lot of stuff for others i'm just not getting enough right? i'm getting this feeling from here too it's all resonating i mean it's all just kind of all amalgamating together i'm not getting enough in return you're feeling like oh i'm suspended okay or i feel some of them are just kind of Ah, I don't want to have to face this. Oh my God, because it's going to be a lot of work. Remember I said we have to look at the cards in the front and the back because what's going to require for you to get that new fulfillment or feeling like that world card or feeling like the king card is it is going to require spiritual work. Yes, yes it is. 
it is going to require that to get to that star okay all the energy is right there so the heart needs to be transformed that's the key message here for me um what was i saying yeah so um so there there some of the divine masculines i feel are putting on that decision making i don't want to make that decision i just want to stay suspended here you know what i'm just going to wait for this this thing to kind of go away this thing will just kind of go away no it ain't gonna go away it is inevitable you are going to have to make that choice okay so you are blocking opening your heart speaking what you feel okay because they are lacking faith in their own ability to overcome obstacles yeah that's right that's what some of the divine masculines are feeling they don't have enough faith in their own abilities perhaps they've been too self-critical you've been too critical of yourself you've been too self-critical you're not feeling you're worthy you're not feeling you're worthy of the new change well change is new change or the positive change let, let let me change that you're not feeling worthy of the positive change that's coming that you can see that you can feel from the core of your heart but you're not allowing because of ego attachment attachment to the past attachment to limiting beliefs not having faith in the universe oh, we'll come to the crown and see what's going on so Look at this card. Look at the card that's going to nourish the throat chakra. It's taking action. Okay, this is the spiritual. This is the like the light and the dark, the feminine, the masculine energy, and it's like the external and the internal world, internal world, the white, the spirit, the purity. It's all taking action. It's ready. I mean, the external world just has to catch up. Take action. It is going to create abundance. Seventeen, number eight, card of abundance. It's coming your throat chakra. Throat chakra, by the way, you guys are getting all my chakra uh, course descriptions, is directly linked with our second chakra. Okay? When we are not creative in the second chakra, and that's why I do a lot of healing on the second chakra healing, uh, the sacral chakra is the first center for creativity. This is the expression, higher expression of you know artists painters projects anything that you want to do anything creative that you're you're, you're you know singing dancing writing um cooking whatever that may project may be it starts from the second chakra but you're expressing it through the throat okay you're expressing and communicating who you are at the core take action come on that's what you are that's what you are you're masculines you're all about taking action right He's taken action and come up here. I, we're not going to look this as a block. For me, all of these blocks, meaning this energy is present. This can be completely changed into something that works for us. You are the king. You can have the world. You can be completely connected with your emotional center. Allow to transform your heart. Take action. Do the work because it's going to bring you to that complete fulfillment, which is a complete chakra clearing. Complete chakra clearing. The star. Woo! I'm excited about that one. I'm, I'm we're moving up into that journey. So take action. Okay. Let's move up into. Um, did I cover all the points in this one? Yeah. So we're moving up into our third eye. Okay. The sixth chakra. The brow chakra. So it is the chakra for inner wisdom and insight. And it's blocked by, by illusion. Okay. By illusion. So what we are getting is is a couple of different messages that are coming. I'm getting the Ten of Wands and I'm getting the hostility. So I'll give you a few different scenarios for, for masculine because it's a general reading. So you're tapping into the complete collective. Some may resonate. It may. So if it's overactive or underactive. Okay. Some of you may be avoiding that responsibility. Hack, I want to stay in this energy. I don't want to have to do the work. I don't want to take on that responsibility. Okay. Following the heart is just going to be too burdensome for me. 
okay this change is going to be an upheaval in my life as i know it and i don't know if it's going to happen i don't know if i can do it it's just too much and and i can't even picture it it's just ridiculous i just can't do it okay but i want it but the heart wants it you're refusing to take action that's what you're doing you're refusing to take action okay so that's some of them so either you're being defensive towards the people who are coming in and you, know, you have your guard up or you've got too much of this aggressive energy, okay? Either you have your guard up and you're not allowing, you're not allowing other people to come in to your life and op help open the heart chakra where there's a chance for it opening, whether it's with the feminine or with other relationships or at work, you have your guard up. You're on the defense. You're on the defense right there. Now, the other side is, have others been taking you for granted? Have others been, been, other people been pushing you around? So if that's the case, you need to step into your own power. Use that, use that energy from the first chakra. Use that willpower and push that aside. Push that aside. Because allowing anyone else to disempower you you're telling the universe, okay, give me more of that. Because that's a signal that you're giving to the universe. Remember, the universe gives you not just what your words are. What is your resonant frequency? Where are your emotions at? What are your feelings about that? Find the courage to stand up for yourself. For the ones who are lacking the self-worth, are lacking... Um, I have been too critical and too harsh on themselves. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand your ground. <sighs> Many of the people, those who suffer with anxiety and, and anxiousness, is because you're worried about that you need to take care of all of these things. We believe that we need to be in control of everything and that the divine is just you know oh yeah the divine's there yeah whatever I'm, I'm not meant to get it and you start to make yourself anxious about every outcome we don't have faith faith in our own abilities if you don't have faith in yourself how can you expect someone else to have it in you or are you expecting only others to have it in you aha uh -huh. and let's work on self-worth i mean just because i'm saying that to you does not mean i don't work on it for me my biggest challenge is self-worth Am I worthy of the life that I say I want? Am I? Is a question I struggle with. I'm here in 3D reality. I have my own lessons to learn too. Let go of anxiety. Have faith in the divine. And allow the movement, allow for the life to move in its own rhythm. Go with the flow. Right? Let's move into our final chakra, the crown chakra. Crown chakra is our connection to the divine. It's where the cosmic energy comes in. We talk about the thousand petal lotus on top of our head. Right? It is blocked by ego attachment you know I do a meditation and it's called meditation on twin hearts and um, actually it just came to me when I talked about ego attachment and we talk about activating the heart chakra and the crown chakra okay. self-love divine love <sighs> ego attachment so what's the blockage to me, the star is all your chakras are aligned, the person is vulnerable, there is balance, emotional balance, she's grounded, and she is in touch with her emotions, right? But our masculines, you're lacking faith. You're lacking faith in the divine providence. You're feeling discouraged. You're not feeling good. You're not feeling inspired. Look back at the tower card. Look back at the tower card and look at the challenges and setbacks along your journey of life. Right? There's a blockages journey. 
look at these setbacks as part of the journey. You know, you're walking down this meandering path and it's going to lead to this beautiful destiny that you have chosen for this lifetime. This is your highest destiny that you have chosen. You have come coded knowing that you can overcome those obstacles. None of these challenges and obstacles are something that you cannot overcome. You have chosen these for yourself, for either transmuting the karma or creating positive co-creating with the universe that's what you came here for it is a journey it is that journey that's going to bring you to that final fulfillment of your spiritual destiny to find and have that alignment to have that connection allowing that energy to flow and fill in so you have the inner wisdom you speak your truth you have an open heart you have the willpower to do things for yourself and for others you're feeling good and highly passionate and you move in passion and creating a life of your dreams letting go letting go because the past is something that we cannot do anything about and the future is not even here. The only thing we can do is now. What is it that we can do now? Keep believing. So this is also also a test. See, this says star card as the crown chakra is also, I get this all the time for myself. I mean, not on a chakra spread. I meant as a challenge is a test of faith. I am constantly being tested on my faith. Whether it's in my abilities, it's in my ability to create abundance, it's my ability to let go of the ego attachments. Just when I think I've reached a certain level, I'm like, whoa, where did this lesson come in from? It's normal. So there are many, many layers and many, many facets. And The universe is very abundant, it's divine, and we have all the elements to help us grow and learn and love ourselves and others. Let us see what the messages are from the universe. Oh my gosh, this is going to become like an hour-long reading. Well, this is the first time I'm doing a chakra spread. I don't think I can do faster than this. Anyway, um, I'll write on the deck so I won't get into it right now. Let's go one at a time. I've already seen these cards. Um, uh, masculines, I love you. Here you go. It says here, you're protected by the angels. You're cherished by the angels. Because the journey that you're taking, they know. Just making the decision to come in here on earth is big. They know the density. They know that it's not easy. But they want you to know that they're always there for you and that you're, gui you're divinely guided and protected. Just listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. This is uh, Angels of Light. I think, let me see, that's the card deck, I think. Yeah, Angels of Light. And the uh, message for the Divine Masculine for the month of May is generosity. I will read that. I, I mean, it's incredible. I, I just love the synchronicity. The affirmation for this card is, I am generous hearted. Generosity is a quality of spirit. It is rejoicing in the good fortune of others, even when you have nothing to celebrate. Rejoicing in the good fortune of others. It is an attitude of mind which means that you are happy to give without expecting in return. Drawing this card invites you to be generous hearted and indicates that you are ready to aspire to this noble quality. Angel wisdom suggests that you give of yourself freely, openly and lovingly. Give yourself. Feel. That's not a burden. You are going to achieve that fulfillment. The rewards for generosity are great for all that you give from an open heart is returned to you multiplied. Multiplied. Generosity. Generosity. This is a message from Archangel. Um, I may not say the name right. Raguel. 
It says relationship harmony. Okay. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are now being resolved. And this is from um, a wonderful, I mean, I have to tell you the name of this deck. Oh, gosh. This is from, um, I think it's Kyle Gray's. Yeah, Kyle Gray's. It's the Keeper of Light. Keepers of Light, I'll show you. This is the Keepers of Light. Kyle Gray. And we drew so interesting I've been chanting Lord Shiva mantra for the last five days Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva is representative of the death card death of the ego it's the highest form of divine masculine and it says here trans transcendence rise up Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Allow the feminine energy. Allow the divine feminine in. Because she is the Shakti. And that's what we create as the Kundalini. Is the merging of the Shiva and the Shakti. The divine feminine is the Shakti. You are this. Go with the flow. Dance with the universe. Let this tower energy open and break your heart. Open your heart, not break your heart. Break open is what I meant to say. Is let it open so you can have that fulfillment. I actually didn't read that. It said it was man holding the heart. Right? Oh, I can't believe I didn't read that. It says man holding the heart as what's going to nourish the crown chakra. Heart center. So your heart and the crown are connected. Love for the self and divine love. This is... I have a strong connection with Atlantis, with the um, energy of Atlantis, with the crystals of Atlantis, with the time and space of Atlantis. So I'm going to read the card that I drew for the Divine Masculines for the month of May. And it says excellence I want you to even I want to tell you what number this is number 33 okay that's actually masters it's an ascended master number it says excellence in golden Atlantis intercommunity games were frequently organized people competed for sheer joy and because they enjoyed the challenge the aim of competition was to develop excellence Never for ego gratification, so losers were gracious and sportsmanlike. Even brittle free, riderless horses raced for the exhilaration and pleasure of it. These were the forerunners of the Olympic Games, and they drew communities together to socialize, participate, and celebrate. So, the message from the Atlantis cards is do your best. If you choose this card, you may be presented with a challenge or responsibility. <laughs> ha! I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Accept it. Do it graciously to the very best of your ability. It does not matter whether you fail or succeed. Your guidance is to participate with all your heart, with all your heart and soul in whatever life presents to you. Dance with the universe dance <sighs> thank you my dears it's been a long reading I'm gonna try and see if I can make it ever shorter than an hour um, this is an interesting reading very very interesting very heartwarming and um, for me to discover this about our masculine energy, our divine counterpart within ourselves, in another, holders of the masculine energy. So I wish you a month of many blessings, much joy, and much chakra alignment. If you would like, 
more information, you'd like a chakra healing session with me, you would like any clearing or personal reading, any of that, um, it'd be my honor and pleasure to work with you. I wish you much happiness, love and joy, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.